Welcome to the iBeer tutorial. Press any button and the respective beer pours. Notice the three-dimensional foam and the automatic bubbles. Tilt your device and the beer follows. Shake the device at any moment for hyper-realistic foam. iBeer comes in lager, stout, light beer, a white suit, and a St. Patrick's Day beer or mouthwash. It can be triggered with a coin, a credit card, or with the voice-activated trick home screen. Let's look into some of those details. Hit the lock and get into the cool hot tricks menu. Let's turn off the burp, it's called end noise. If you need to perform in absolute silence, switch off sound. No more bubbles, foam, or hydraulic menu noises. If sound is turned on but you can still not hear it, make sure your mute button is off. Also, make sure to turn up the volume on your iPod Touch and iPhone. iBeer always goes back to the vending machine. However, if you switch refill off, iBeer exits gracefully and goes back to your real home screen ready to snap pictures. To get back to the vending machine really quickly, just press the bottom right on your beer. At least once a week you need to reboot your device. This will make intensive applications such as games or the iBeer or other Hotrix applications run really smooth. Let's talk about that really cool pay trick. Switch it on. Hit OK to confirm. Let's select the beer. Let's take the logger for instance. Look at that. Nothing happens. Why don't you tap on the coin slot? Now the beer activates. This opens up a whole bunch of possibilities for tricks. For instance, secretly put your thumb on the coin slot, have somebody yell, beer, secretly remove your thumb, and your beer just became voice activated. Or borrow a coin and pretend to put it in the coin slot. You just purchased a beer. Or how about using a credit card? Just slip it in the bottom off your iPhone or iPod Touch, pull it out, and secretly remove your thumb. You just explained the credit crisis. Now that we know how to secretly trigger beer, let's talk about the magic button. You can sell this to be just about anything. A fingerprint reader, or a card scanner, or a thermometer, or a microphone. You'll be able to pull all sorts of crazy stunts with your audience with the magic button. Wouldn't it be cool if the home screen could be voice activated? Well, now it can. Hold down the magic button red thingy for more than 7 seconds. And the on switch turns orange. The red button was just switched out for an image of an average home screen. It's just an image, so wherever you press, beer will pour. Using the secret thumb trigger, you can now voice activate your home screen. Once you're done drinking the beer, it goes straight back to the fake home screen ready to pour more beer. As always, if you have any questions or comments, do not hesitate to contact us. We reply to every email and we return every call.